Good day everyone. Just coming into summer in town, uh, in Queensland and wanted to do a video about how I like to catch fish on lures in and around Townsville. I think there's a bit of a, a stigma around here that you need to use live bait to catch good fish in Townsville, which I just don't think is true. Um, I've been getting a lot of success lately on lures and a bit more of a finesse style of fishing in the salt water up here and thought I'd like to make a video on it. Firstly, the big thing I'll think is fish pretty light, uh, jig head wise, using soft plastics, line wise, I don't think I've run more than about 12 pound lately. Uh, it is close season for barra, so not fishing for barra, fishing for jacks, trebs, cod, anything like that. Um, that there is probably the biggest lure I've thrown lately. Uh, it's a little, here's the packet, little RT shad, little real thing shad by Molex. Um, I think they're a great little potty mullet imitation. Prawn imitations have been killing it. They're probably the number one lure lately. Three inch hot productions have been killing it. And just really natural um, lure presentations have been really good. I'm not throwing big swim baits or anything, I'm trying to get these jacks. Up in towns we don't get many sort of 50 centimeter jacks. They're all sort of small ones. Something like that chase bait flip prawn in our own snags, fish that weedless, um, and you're going to catch fish. It's just putting in a few hours, finding good spots, um, fishing the right tides, and putting in the hours. So hopefully I can show you a couple of things about catching fish in town. <laughs> Oh, he's down. Shit. <laughs> so you're running right here. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Little bears, eh? Yeah. Alright, close season. I'll we'll get him back in the water. Oh, there he is. Oh. Launch out there. Have a look at this lure. Have a look at the wearing pin on this. Look how close he was to bust it through there. Look at that. <laughs> Lucky duck I am. Oh, it's a big time. That was a good fish. Oh, that was hit on the drop. Oh. Oh, look at that. Man, look what he's done to the lure. Oh. We got a fish, we got a fish. Good fish. Oh, now he's bricked me. It's not good.
So, apologies for the wind, turn this way. So the way I like to work these swim prawns is a nice long car sort of pass what you're trying to retrieve on. So pass those snags, let him sink down. Keep it in contact with the line. One on the bottom, just a slowest roll. Looks so natural when they're just slow rolling along the bottom like that. Letting it pause, sink back to the bottom pretty regularly. I don't want it more than about a foot off the bottom. All the way in. And up and over this little drop off just here. That's how I like to work and that's how I like to try and catch fish with them anyway. We go to fish. <laughs> Long day. Lovely little 40 odd centimetre barrel. It has been a long day, mate. Thank you very much. At the buzzer. <laughs> I have about three minutes before I have to head home. And I've just nailed another tiny little buzz. Look at that. What a fish. Hey guys, so just realised I didn't do much of an outro as it was getting pretty late by the time I finished up fishing. Um, just wanted to give a quick round rundown of what worked and what gear I was using today. Um, so first of all I was running a 2-4 kilo rod, 7 foot, uh, 10 pound braid, 12 pound leader. Pretty basic for most estuary fishing around Australia. Um, big thing that worked well was, well the fish, the lure that I caught all my fish on actually was four inch swim prawn in olive oil. As you can see by this one, he caught a couple of those little barra and he also missed a couple of jack. I don't know if you can see the teeth mark in there, but it got torn up pretty good. Um, where I fished them, keeping them real shallow. Um, sorry, not shallow, real deep. Down near the bottom, slow rolling, letting it sink back down to the bottom, just keeping it in the fish's face until they hit it. Um, real natural lure, so they're gonna hit it eventually. Um, the other I used was 4 inch Kitek um, paddle tail, which I missed one barrel on. Not fishing for barrel at the moment, but they're just around. You get that in North Queensland. Um, 
fished the start of the run out tide, so water was very high, casting along the banks into sort of mangroves and snags along the water's edge there, and only about you know four or five foot of water. That's where I got most of my hits, and uh, also lost a couple of fish doing that. But uh, that's how it goes. I hope that helps. Um, if you're in and around towns or, or similar sort of waterway, uh, help you get a few anyway. So, keep it easy. Hopefully, a few more videos coming soon.